What's going on everybody? It's your boy Chop and today we're going to be talking about Halo Infinite. Now, I'm just going to be talking about the things I don't like about Halo Infinite. Ah, Chop! Why you got to be so fucking negative? Halo Infinite's awesome! Yes, okay, I get, I get it. All right, disclaimer, all right? I've been having a lot of fun with Halo Infinite. Okay, it's pretty damn good. I just got these criticisms that I just I feel like I got to put out there. Plus, I'm a lot better at pointing out what I don't like about things than what I do like about things. I, I don't know if that makes any sense. It's just me. But I'm sure the big guys are going to be coming out with videos talking about everything in Halo Infinite. So don't worry. We're just going to be talking about what's not desirable, in my opinion. So let's get started and let's address the biggest elephant in the room, and that is Halo Infinite's progression system. Now, if you're a person who really doesn't care about the progression system, you know, you just, you know, you play the game to play the game, you have fun, you know, that's good for you, man. I'm happy for you. So this section isn't for you. So let's talk about the progression system. It's fucking trash, is what it is, to put it bluntly. So, if you don't know, you have to go through this fucking battle pass to level up. I mean, when you level up, you get different armors and coatings, yada yada yada, all that good stuff. You only level up by completing daily and weekly challenges. Weekly challenges give you a bit more XP than dailies. However, you only have uh, a certain number of weekly challenges in a week. You know, so if you complete all your weekly challenges, all you're going to have left to rank up is dailies. You don't get XP at the end of each match. So you're solely just relying on the challenges. And it's fucking terrible. I've played at the time of this recording at least 60 matches. And on the battle pass, I'm only level 9. Did I mention you have to pay to unlock most of the content in the Battle Pass? Uh, I might have left that one out. There's just gotta be another way to level up besides daily and weekly challenges. Why can't players get XP at the end of a game? Why can't the players who won the game get bonus XP for winning that game? You know, if I'm playing and I've got challenges that I need to complete in order to level up, you know, depending on what my challenges are, that's that's going to define how I'm going to play that match. You know, if, if my challenge is to say, hey, don't fucking complete the objective. You need to go get three fucking kills with a pulse carbine. I'm not going to play the objective. I'm going to go get three kills with a pulse carbine. Fucking call, pulse carbine fucking sucks. In my opinion, I just, I fucking, I can't kill anybody with that. That was a horrible challenge, getting three kills with a pulse carbine. But anyways, yeah, you know, winning the game isn't going to rank me up. I've already explained that. Pursuing my own selfish interests will, aka my challenges. So I, I feel like that, in a sense, is also affecting how players play the game. You know, that could just be me, but I, I don't know. I guess it's something to think about. And I mean, you know, we all know the reason why the XP systems like this is so that it's a grind fest. You know, what you can do is you buy the Battle Pass. Instead of buying a regular Battle Pass, you can buy, like, a special fucking deluxe version of the Battle Pass that gives you fucking 25 free unlocks. And then, you know, you can just buy your way through the rest of that shit. Because, you know, we gotta make that extra money. Fucking, ah, uh, it's, it's complete garbage, the uh, progression system. And I, and I really hope it changes. Because there's, like, so many cool new armors and shit. It's just the way you unlock them is garbage. Another thing I don't like is the points that come up on the screen after you get like a kill or capture a flag or something like that. Now at first this didn't bother me. You know I'd be sitting there shooting some guy, somebody you know maybe takes my kill but oh assist, you get 50 points, like oh that's cool. You know I'm getting points, 50 points for an assist and then you know I think about it, it's like wait a minute. I'm not getting fucking XP at the end of a game and it's showing me these points. What the fuck do these points even you know represent? What the fuck are they for? I don't care. What is this? My fucking uh, performance throughout the fucking match? I don't give a shit about my performance throughout the entire match. I'm not going to give any fucking XP. Don't show me these points. It's worthless to me. All right. Moving on. You can't search for specific game types. Now, what that means is I 
can't just go and search for specifically oddball. I get thrown into like a quick lobby and it's going to give me CTF, oddball, territories or whatever the hell they call it now, you know. And if I fucking got a challenge where I got to get, you know, win three games of oddball, it's hard to win three games of oddball when you don't put me into fucking oddball. <laughs> Another thing I really don't like, and I know they already said that these weren't going to be in the game already, assassinations. You know, there's no assassinations in the game. I know they already said something about that, but like, come on, man. Really? Uh, another thing is the energy sword. The way it, it looks and the way it sounds when you pull it out are, are uh, bad, in my opinion. It, it needs to change. It needs to go back to like the classic color palette and the classic energy sword sound when you pull it out. It just it doesn't sound very good. Then there's the glint for precision weapons. I already talked about this in a separate video. You can go watch that if you're interested in hearing more about it. Then there was the way that the scorpion tank handled. I just, it felt like it was really hard to turn the scorpion tank. I, I don't know why, if maybe that was just me because I was using a keyboard but the scorpion tank just felt really hard to turn. I didn't like how uh, objectives that you held in your hand, like the oddball or the flag, weren't one-hit melee kills. Like, it's kind of always been like that. I, I don't know about Halo 5, though, so don't quote me on Halo 5. I played it, like, twice. But, you know, it's always been someone's got the flag or the oddball, and they get up in your face, you punch them. And it's just always been like that, and it uh, really caught me off guard when I uh, bashed someone with the oddball and they uh, didn't die. <laughs> now, Big Team Battle. I really like playing Big Team Battle, but there's just one thing that I fucking hate about Big Team Battle, and it's that Jeff Steitzer, the Halo announcer, who's been the announcer for every single Halo game, doesn't talk in Big Team Battle. He doesn't fucking say anything. It's this fucking commander, whatever the hell her name is, this new chick they got in there. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't give a shit about this person. The only person I want to hear talking in my multiplayer Halo games is fucking Jeff Steitzer. You know, I got a goddamn kill atrocity in my latest video. You could see that, you know, it was pretty awesome. And I didn't fucking hear nothing. I heard, oh, their whole squad is cannon for the, shut the fuck up! Where the hell's my guy? Where the hell's my guy? Oh, kill, trust, double kill, all that other good shit. Fucking kill him in Jaro. Come on, man. Like, who thought that was a good idea? Honest to God, who thought that was a good idea? And last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, or, you know, this may be the most disappointing news, uh, there are no dummy thick Spartans. I know, I know. Take a second. It's okay. I understand. <sighs> it's just, I, I guess we really are only here to suffer. Hmm? And, well, that's really all I have to complain about Halo Infinite. You know, overall, most of those things, they're not really major. Maybe mostly minor technical things that shouldn't take a lot to fix. Dummy thick Spartans, though, I'll never forgive anybody for that. I'll never forgive anybody. We better put those in. Now. <laughs> well, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Overall, again, I had a lot of fun with Halo Infinite, and I'm continuing to having fun. Hopefully, uh, some of these issues get addressed, because this is a... On the Steam page, it at least it says it's a beta. So, uh, I hope things are subject to change, but... You know, they, they're usually not. But I guess I can hope, right? Anyways, thanks for tuning in. And I'll catch everybody later.